There was a cop who was, I guess, in his car, and an egg corn hit the roof of the car. So he freaked out. He thought it was gunfire, and then he apparently emptied his gun. I think saying it's racist is crazy, but here's the video. Oh, I just want to tell you something before we start it. So he was there. He um, took into custody a guy who was sending threatening text messages text messages to someone. A black guy. It's a black guy that's in custody. And he is, he's in the back seat of his car, of the cop's car, handcuffed. So that's, uh, that's what happened before this. <laughs> yes. Oh my God! I mean, who's he shooting at? This is kind of crazy. A suspect that's handcuffed in the back of his car. He thinks he was shot too. Oh, he reloads. Yeah, he thought he was shot. Also, his partner is also shooting with him. Dude, crawling around. Oh, this is crazy. He did like two tuck and rolls. He thinks he's shot. He's pretending to die. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> if this was on Reno 911, it would not be out of the question. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, he's. <laughs> now, this guy's a fucking loser. Like, that's Shit. mental. You don't just start shooting. Imagine being car. in the back of the car, like, you gotta be kidding me. So, the guy in the back of the car did not get hit, luckily. Oh but people are saying that it's like racism, that he went through this to, like, so he could kill a black guy. I, Guys, sometimes people are just idiots, or sometimes people make massive mistakes. Sometimes people are crazy in a moment of hysteria. Whatever yeah. happened there, and apparently it's a Latino officer as well, right? That's what they said. I, I just saw a thing on Twitter being like, "White Latino officer unloads clip into." <laughs> it's like, what? You can't call it. it's it's if it's a Latino, he's Latino, you know. Um, now, once you put the cop uniform on, Latino goes white. It is true. <laughs> that is right. They, they, there is white. a Once there is a, a fork on. in the road there. Yeah, it's, like, it's are, like Superman putting on the cape. They are told sure. right, like the police, like watch out for black people. So maybe if it was a white guy in the car, maybe he wouldn't have done that. Maybe so. he wouldn't have. But I, I you know, I, I just, I just think not everything has to be racism. He it might just be a trigger happy, scaredy yeah. kind of dude. There's yeah, another no, 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 video. No. The cop got fired, right? I, I don't know if Char he wasn't fired. He was not fired. He was he retired. He he did an early retirement. He was allowed to just quit, and he gets all his benefits and everything. Oh right, right, right. So he can keep <laughs> his benefits. Because what the department was saying is that this wasn't a malicious thing. Like he fucked up. Yes, thankfully no one got hurt because that would be different. But he was like very sensitive. He really thought that he was being shot at, and he reacted in a crazy I, way. I think he kind of did. Cause think about the mentality of somebody who's like, dude, I'm gonna fucking. I'm going to pretend to accidentally kill a black person today. Think about just what a crazy thing that is. Yeah. Like just the, the amount to like, and he looked hysterical. The amount of crazy you would have to be where you're like, dude, I'm, I'm on camera. I'm going to just go for it. This is going to probably ruin my life, yeah. my family's life. Like if he goes through the process of shooting this black kid, it is like literally like he changes his name. Like he might go to prison. Like, the, like the, there's not a fucking, there's no upside in just killing a black person. I get how it's a little fun, but it's not that fun. Yeah, and also, the acorn defense isn't yeah. any good. Yeah, I mean, it worked. It worked for him swimmingly. But yeah. Also, if, if they fire a Latin man over that and they haven't fired white cops over that, that would be an issue too. So like, they can't give him a harsher punishment when they haven't. It's just not all racism. It is pretty hilarious. The fact that the guy wasn't hit. Dude, I, I wish it was a camera inside of the car. Because he has to be losing his fucking mind, like because your hand. You I, know can't it, get I know out. it. I know it. I know it. You it's can't terrifying. get out, dude. You're just fucking losing your shit the whole time. Also, what did he think he was shooting him with? Like from the gun from behind his back, like out the. It doesn't yeah. even make any sense. It's. Not, I think the guy had a moment of, um, like temporary hysteria from being like just an adrenaline fucking thing. He got like very scared. Dude, like, he got yes. fucked. The scared. only thing he can say is, like, I was so fucking dude, scared, uh, dude, dude. This black guy was I, I know scary. it was an acorn, but the whole situation was just <laughs> But a mighty scared. oak. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It happened in, like, October, right? It was, like, around Halloween time. Was it? Well, I, thought this, I thought this was, was uh, new. I thought this no, was he just new. got fired recently. It was November. November. Okay. Uh, why Why did they not, did they not go to training for stuff like that? Like, no, don't be spooked. Of course they do. I think or... you're just shell-shocked and scared all the time as a mm. cop, though. I yeah, I mean, look, for the most, most part, you don't you don't see that. I just, I, I don't see, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I think it did happen a lot in, like, the, you know, back in the day. Before there was, like, cameras everywhere and before all this other shit was, I think there was just, like, really fucking, 
you know, I'm bad sure cops. There's probably still a lot of bad cops of out there. But I'm just saying, like, I dealt with cops. I'm not a real criminal. I guess I was for a little while. I, I was committing some real serious crimes, but not like I never really got caught for anything, right? I always got caught for like weed or like stupid shit. And even back in the day, you just saw like the cops were extremely aggressive, like unnecessarily aggressive, the way they would talk to you, the way they treat you. And if I didn't play the game, it could have gone down a path where I would be hit or being like, I had a friend, my buddy, James Saccone, he told me this story when he was a senior in high school. He went down with like uh, other seniors from school to New York City and they were just drinking and going to like clubbing after prom. It was like after prom night. His cops caught them with a bunch of weed and like a bottle. And my buddy James like made a joke or whatever. The cop cracked him right in the fucking face. It's like 99, you know. Um, and he wasn't lying. He didn't make the, he, started, he wasn't making the story up. Like this definitely fucking happened. And you're like, that was just a fucking white smart ass. Imagine you're like just some fucking black kid who fucking mouths off. Like no one's around. Yeah, you there's your, an acorn tree. There's a fucking <laughs> Yo, cop just... God, never go near acorn trees again. Oh, if you're, if a you're... second reason for <laughs> black guys to be scared of acorn trees. Damn, dude. But some cops are just, like, nervous. Like, there's one, a video going around now. It's like a, a baseball game, and a, a ball flies and hits a cop, and he goes for his gun. Jesus. You see him go for it. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have guns in Ireland, so they just go for a little stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. I could they couldn't they couldn't get me down, dude. I would be a criminal mastermind if I lived in the UK. No guns. What are you gonna do? Oh yeah, dude. You're gonna blow your whistle at me? Are you out of your fucking mind? They're just more aggressive, right? They'll like yeah. get you in a headlock. My and... my dad said like because my dad is a he's a superintendent, but he used to work um like the beat in Dublin. And one time these gang guys, young gang guys, ran up and tried to. And he had his mother with him, like he was off duty, and he was like walking in the street. So he got her, he dropped her off somewhere and he kept walking. He knew they were following and he got into like a, in between a wall and they came up and they were trying to stab him. But because he was in the wall, he was just like throwing punches out. But then the older gang guys, when they heard about it, they were like, leave him alone now. You've like had your shot. We don't like, you've, you don't fuck with him anymore. So then if they had to deal with anything, they would ask my dad for stuff because he had like proved himself by not getting stabbed. Yeah. Isn't that's, that crazy? That is strange, so strange. Weird. Weird. No Irish guns, man just rules. stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably messing up the story too. Yeah, but like but everybody in the UK has a knife. Not, the knife thing is, and it's really, like my dad said, like people would just get stabbed and die straight away. Like it's, and it's easy to get, like. Yeah. It's my my really father was stabbed. My father was stabbed to death. And okay. it, um, you know, that's something like, because it, it's kind of a fucking crazy thing, right? It's like, I'm not, Stabbing somebody to death seems like such a crazy thing, right? But if you have a knife, and I carried knives around in my life. There's, when I was a teenager, there was times in my life where I would carry a blade. Yeah. <clears throat> I wasn't a, like a tough kid like that. I wasn't like, I wasn't like a gangbanger. I was poor. I wasn't violent like that. I'd never used a blade, or I would never even intend to use a blade. It was kind of to be cool. I was like 14. I was trying to like be cool, 13 years old, 12 even, I would say. I was like younger. I was like rolling with like more like poor Hispanic and black kids. Um, before I, I found my my white ways, set myself <laughs> on the straight and narrow, but I would carry a fucking blade on me, yeah. and you just like peel apples with it, yeah, and you know, car- fucking... carve your name, into yeah, carve trees. my name into my initials <laughs> yeah. with a girl. Yeah. Um, no, but like if I had gotten into a thing, it could just come out, and you could just fucking like uh, it's just so easy to like go down that fucking path. Yeah. It, you know, I couldn't, I dude, it's fucking yeah, I couldn't even imagine, dude. Um, I've had people pull knives on me multiple times though. Recently, somebody just pulled a knife on me a few weeks ago. What in in what? Yeah, I, I did. It was after I chased their car through the streets of New York City and jumped out, threatened in a threatening way. Uh, and it was an older man who probably yeah, was needed to defend himself. himself. He had a butter knife. Yeah. <laughs> Keep away! <laughs> no, please, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit.